Good morning children. Today we shall learn more about prime factorization which is a factor tree. Now what is prime factorization of 126? Here we will use an interesting concept of a factor tree to do the prime factorization method. First we will write down the number for which we are doing the prime factorization. Here it is 126. Now we know like 9 fourteens are 126. So we can make two branches and write the two factors of 126. Here we said 9 and 14 are the factors of 126 the product of which make 126. So we write here 9 and here we write 14. So see what we did. We wrote the number for which we are doing the prime factorization. Then we make the two branches and write the two factors which make 126. Now let's see this 9. 9 is not a prime number so we can factorize it again and for this we know 3 3's are 9 let's make the two branches and write down 3 3 as 3 multiplied by 3 gives us 9 it's the same thing as we did 9 multiplied by 14 gives us 126 now coming to another branch of 126 which is 14. 14 again is not a prime number and we can factorize it further. So let's make two branches and we know two sevens are 14. So here we wrote 2 and in another branch we wrote 7. Now let us check all the branches at the bottom 3 it doesn't need further branches as it is a prime number coming to this 3 again it doesn't need any more branches because it is a prime number here 2 is again a prime number and here 7 is again a prime number so we see our factor tree is complete and through this we have done prime factorization of 126. How is that? If we see 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 7 will give us 126. So which uh, branch we considered? We considered the bottom most branch and it consists of 3 3 2 7 so what is prime factorization of 126 it is equal to 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 7 what did we do we made a factor tree and we considered the bottom most branch only which has only the prime numbers so the tree was made until we got all the prime factors of the number. Now let us do the same for 72. That is we will do the prime factorization of 72 using the factor tree. Now what about 72? We know 12 6 are 72. So we will make the two branches and write down 6 and 12. Let's see this branch first. 6. 6 is not a prime number. So we can break it down further and write as 3 into 2. Let's write it down. 2 multiplied by 3 and it gives us 6. Now coming to this another branch of 72 which is 12. Now 12 again is not a prime number. We can factorize it. What can we do? We can say 2 6 are 12. 
and we got two branches of 12. Now let's come down one level and see the lower branches. 2 it's a prime number, 3 it's a prime number, 2 again a prime number. What about 6? No it is not a prime number so we'll branch out again and write down the two factors. We know 2 3's are 6 so 2 3's are 6. Let's check again 2 and 3 both are prime numbers. So if we check all the bottom most branches what do we see? Here the bottom most branches 2 and 3 both are prime numbers and here this side the lowest branches or the bottom most is this branch and it has 2 and 3. So we have finished the prime factorization of 72 as we have all the prime numbers on its bottommost branches. 2 multiplied by 3 and we'll come down to this. This is the lowest most branch for 12, 2 and 6 is not the lowest most or the bottom most branch. Here the bottom most branch is 2 and 3. So 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 will give us prime factorization of 72 which we found out using the factor tree. The prime factorization of 72 is 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3. So here we did prime factorization of 72 using the factor tree method. That's all for now. Bye bye children.